Hey there guys, got an interesting uh, one for you today. Of course, another train simulator video. This is a new skin slash mod, although I'd call it more of a mod because there's a lot going on here. Uh, from a guy named Martin, used to be part of True Rail Simulations, kind of went his own way and pursuing uh, other projects on his own, I believe. Um, but anyway, this is a mod by him. You can find it down below in the info underneath the video, as always, where the link will be placed. All right, so we are on the Pacific Surfliner, somewhere between L.A. and uh, San Diego. Essentially, what this is supposed to be is an X Bombardier ALP 45DP Alstom rebuilt ALP 36AC Surfliner spec. So yes, it is fictional. I know the the hardcore foamers probably not crazy about that but you know whatever this thing looks pretty damn good as far as I'm concerned uh, it's got destination boards with all the stops that come on the Pacific Surf Liner it's got a winglet that matches the height of the coaches which you can see there on the back uh, you need of course either the New Jersey Coastline or New Jersey Coast and Morristown um, routes add-ons off the uh, steam store um, it's it's also going to have one single road number, so it's just 4 triple O four thousand. That's the only road number you're going to get. It's got a ton of child objects and decals that he has added, and miscellaneous uh, vent intakes on the side, things like that. Uh, now the Surfliner, for those that may not know, actually uses the Siemens Charger, a variant of it, uh, as well as Surfliner and Superliner coaches. And just a quick brief, the Surfliner is essentially about a 350 mile uh, passenger service down the coast for the most part of Southern California from San Luis Obispo to San Diego, California. It's got about 25 stops. So anyway, we're going to take a look at this thing here. I love the LED lights. Now he has added those as well. Go ahead and pop them off and on here. Those look really, really nice. And they're not too crazy, you know, up ahead. And But it, it does look nice. It kind of has that whitish-blue look to it. But it, it doesn't seem to go on for miles and miles. It is uh, about 8 o'clock in the morning here where I set it, but... That looks pretty darn good. Of course, he's got the fictional ALP 36AC on the side there. CDTX 4000, the Alstom logo, Marka flag, naturally. Very, very crispy decals. Caltrans. Jeez, that is that is really sharp. That's that's really, really sharp. That looks nice. And of course, Pacific Surfliner. Uh, the colors look fantastic. They look as close to the real thing as I can imagine. He has changed uh, the undercarriage as well, the uh, the chassis. The thing just looks good, man. It looks it looks very very modern. I know there's not a, a lot of people out there that are fans of the Chargers and all that, and this is fictional. It's essentially taking place of the Charger, uh, but as far as I'm concerned, this thing looks pretty damn good. Now the winglet on the back, kind of like the Talgo train sets, um, it looks good. He's done a pretty darn good job with it. It's nice and clean. It doesn't look out of place. It looks completely natural. You know, if you were to just look at it from the first time, not knowing otherwise. It's actually very, very nice. But yeah, so it's it's got, you know, new child objects, decals, um, you know, all that good stuff. It does not come with sounds, uh, for what it's worth, as far as I know. I've, I think I've got an old fan railer pack um, that I've got applied on here, hence the horn. Um, I know a lot of people have issues working those in with, you know, other packs and their stuff breaks. I haven't had any problems yet, knock on wood. Um, but it, it seems to work okay as is now. But damn, this thing looks really, really good. I love the, uh, the colors and the black face on it. That is very spicy. 
it's just really, really clean. You know, considering what we get from developers that expect us to pay, like, what, 20 bucks on the Steam store that usually shovels out garbage, you know, nine times out of ten. Um, and for this to be freeware, yes, you need this to begin with from the uh, North Jersey Coastline pack, but this thing looks amazing. A amazing. So the destination boards do work. Uh, he's also got a commemorative um, thing in here for a fella named AJ Martinez, who's a local rail fan to the area that uh, tragically passed away. Uh, so it's kind of like an, an ode. Uh, we'll see if I can get it working here. There we go. Pack Surf. There he is. There's his name, AJ Martinez. San Luis Obispo. So it's got every single one that would have been on the Surfliner route by default. That's nice. And they look good. Again, very spicy. We'll take off here. Yes, I've got default surf liner and uh, view liner coaches here. For shame, I know. Old coaches. I'm sure there's some packs out there somewhere. I'm just never got around to messing with it. But anyway, this thing is gorgeous. Just wanted to get it out there again. It is fictional, so, you know, just in case you're thinking about crying to me. What is this? It's not real. I know, it is fictional. He has stated that as well. Um, I still think it's pretty cool, and I'm going to use it on Pacific Surfliner. I love the F-59, but uh, this thing here is just very, very sharp-looking locomotive. Like a tack. It's gorgeous. So yeah, just wanted to uh, get this out there in case you didn't know about it. Go and check it out if you feel you may be interested in uh, having a little sweet-ass fiction in your life. Um, but that's it, guys. That'll do her today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.